Hi, I'm George, and I'm here with my team to show you how to do custom music behind the Minecraft menu. But first of all, I want to do a big shout out to Double Z Playing. He's got a gameplay channel. That's one of his videos playing back there. You should check him out. All right, let's switch over to the desktop and get things set up to put custom music behind the Minecraft menu. Okay, we're here on the desktop. And the first thing you'll need to do is to make a folder to build your custom resource pack in. I just made one here that I named Title Music, and I'll put it on my C drive right there. And I also have the song I'll be using. Now, there are four songs inside of the menu that Minecraft chooses from. It chooses one of those four songs at random. I'll be using the same track here for all of those four songs. We now need to bring in a couple of files that we'll need to build our custom resource pack. And for that, I'm going to be opening up the Minecraft launcher. Let's go ahead and bring that up. Okay, here's the launcher. Now go up into installations. And at the top of the list up here, this will be the version of Minecraft that you're currently playing. You wanna work over here. And then go over here just to the right of where it says play and click on that icon right there. It looks like a little folder. And that's going to bring up this folder right here. This is the Minecraft folder. And then in here, we're going to scroll down until we see versions. There it is, I'll open up versions. And then scroll down to you find your version of Minecraft. And again, I'm playing in 1.16.5 Optifine right here. Let's open this one up. And you want to copy out this jar file right there. If you're not seeing that .jar, then go up here to view and go over here where it says file name extensions and make sure there's a check mark right there. And then you're all set. Okay, let's now bring up the other file folder. There it is. And I'll just take this one and I'll use the right mouse button and just drag that over here and choose copy. There we go, I just made a copy of that folder. Don't work in this original, leave that one alone, but make a copy over here in your working folder. Okay, we can get rid of that now. Now I need to open this up and get a couple of files out of here. If you have WinRAR or 7-Zip, you can open it up directly. If you don't have one of those, you can still do this inside of Windows. Just click over here and then type over .jar and make it say .zip. Hit the enter key and then choose yes, there we go. It's now just a regular zip folder. We can then open this up. I'm going to right click on this and then I'll choose open in new window. There we go. And then in here, we wanna scroll way down almost to the bottom of this list right there and you'll find pack MC meta and pack PNG. I'm gonna copy both of these over. So select both of those and then right drag those over here and copy and there we go. I'm gonna change my view here to large icons so we can see those. There's that pack MC meta and here's that pack PNG. Okay, I can now close down that zip file. We're done with that. Now in here, inside the pack, MC Meta, I have mine set up to open inside of Notepad++. Then I'll put a link for that in the description. It's a free download, and it's the best way to actually work with these MC Meta files. And the first time you use that, you want to get that program set up to open up your MC Meta. So right-click, come down to Open With. If you don't see it here, Notepad++, choose Default Program. There we go. If you don't see it up here, click on More Options and then scroll down until you find that program. And again, mine is right there. And there we go. All that's inside this is just two things, the description right here and the pack format. The pack format is correct because we opened this up right from the version that we're playing. So I'll just change the description up here. It can be anything you want. Make sure that you don't lose those two quotation marks at the either ends right there. Let's call this one music. Menu music like that and save. And that's all done, that's taken care of. In the pack PNG, this is just a square image and it's a PNG. By the default, that's 128 by 128. I tend to like using 256 by 256 and doing my own custom one, but you don't have to. So we'll just leave that as is. You can really just leave that alone. All right, now we need to build the folders for setting up our menu. Let me bring up a text file here and I'll show you the folders that we need to copy here or make here inside of our working folder. There we go. And we need to recreate this path right here inside of our new folder. Now we first need to have an assets folder in here. So I'll go over here to home, click on new folder and assets. There we go, let's go inside of that. And then new folder, this one is Minecraft. There we go, new folder. And then sounds, there it is. Go inside of that, new folder, music. There we go, inside of that, new folder and menu right there. So inside of here is where we'll need to be making our new files. Now for that, let's go back here to our working folder. I'm going to take this and just right click and copy this. It's right there. And let's go inside of our folders all the way in and then right click and paste. 
There we go. Okay, so here's our sound file. We now need to convert this to the .ogg format .og. You can't type it in. You have to actually convert this using a sound editing program. And I like using the free Audacity program. Let me go ahead and launch that. Here we are inside of Audacity, which is okay. Now all we need to do here is to open the file here and then export that to the OGG format. Let's go up here to File and come down to Open. There we go. And then find where you have the file you want to change. We have ours inside the Assets folder. So let's go inside of here. And there we go. There's our sound file and choose Open. Let that open up in here. Once that's done, we can now convert this over to the OGG format. And that's right here, File, come down to Export and Export as OGG right there. They want to make sure that you're in the right folder. So let's go into our assets again, Minecraft Sounds, Music, and Menu right here. Choose Save, choose OK. Let that do the conversion to OGG. And that's all we have to do here inside of Audacity. And there we go. That's done. OK, we can close this program down now. There it is. So here is the original and here's our new file. Let me just change the view here. I'll go to large icons. There's the original and here's our OGG format. Now mine has this kind of cone shaped thing because I'm using the VLC media player to play my media files. If you're using a different media player, you'll have the icon for that up here, but that doesn't matter. Okay, now we need to rename this. So it says menu one, just like that, right down here with that .ogg at the end. Okay, menu one, there we go. There's our first one. We now need to make three copies of this and name those two, three, and four. So right click, copy, and in here, right click and paste. This is gonna be number two. There we go, let's do that again. Right click, copy, and then right click, paste. This one's number three. There it is. One last time, right click, copy, and right click, paste. And this one is number four. So I'm using the same file for all four spots here inside of the title. So there we go. We're all set to go. You can leave this one in here. Minecraft will just ignore this file or delete it. It's up to you. It doesn't really matter. So now go back to our working folder right here. And we're now ready to convert this into a zip file. So choose your files. And we need the assets folder, the pack MC meta, and the pack PNG. Just go up here to share and click on zip. That does the zipping for us right there. I'm now going to just change the name here. I'll call it menu music right there. We're all set to go. We now need to get this back over into the game. Let's go back to the launcher and back to this folder right here. There we go. Bring this up. Now this time, come down to resource packs. It's right here. And go inside resource packs. And let's just put this right here and I'll bring up our other folder again. There we go. And I'll just drag this over here. Let's just change our view. Make this a list like that. There we go. And then I'll just drag this into that folder. And there it is. Okay, that's all taken care of now. We can now launch the game. We'll go ahead and click on play and we'll launch the game. And then we need to activate that resource pack once the game is loaded. Okay, here we are at the menu for Minecraft. And we have the regular music playing in the background. Let's now activate our new resource pack. Let's go down here to options and then resource packs. And to click on the left hand side over here, there we go. There's the new menu music. Let's reactivate that one. It's now activated and choose done. Now it's going to unload the original music and then reload our new music here just in a moment. Right about there is about when it happens. This will then go back to that screen right here. Choose done. Now it's going to take it a moment or two for it to load in that new soundtrack. And as soon as it does, we'll begin to hear our new music in the background here for the Minecraft menu. It should be coming up here just any moment now. It goes in pretty fast, actually. It doesn't take that long to do that. We'll just give it a second now to begin playing. And there we go, just beginning to start right now. A little more interesting, a little more exciting. Has some guitar in here in just a second. There it is. And there's our guitar. And there we go. There's brand new menu music for Minecraft. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into our world here. Okay, there you go. That's how to change the menu music for Minecraft to have in there behind the title screen. And if you like this video, hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe. Check out my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos, and I'll see you next time.